Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Brave Power 60 here with a very small dollar store haul. Um, I had to take my mother to a um, hearing specialist today and I she was going to be long so I decided to go to this shopping center that I hadn't been in years and um, I went in there was a dollar store there and the dollar store had closed and a new one opened it was called Dollar Mart um, run by some um, oriental gentleman I, I'm not sure I think he's the owner that was there and they'd only been open two days so this Dollar Mart had everything from a dollar up to fifteen twenty dollars I mean so it wasn't sort of a true dollar store, but it did have a lot of really good items. And I wanted to show you one, uh, a few things that I had picked up. And this was a dollar. It was regularly $9.99. And it's a point and paint. And what it is, is, you know, you, you can use it by hand or attach it to a pole. Um, and when you're painting, you know, you can get into the corners without having to worry about, you know, hitting stuff. Um, I had a small uh, square one kind of like that and I'm doing, going to be doing some painting here and I thought frig for a dollar let's see if it works so there's no toy it's just pointing and it's showing you how to do it and it's got I think um, I don't know if you can see on this picture but so let me hold it properly so it's got the big green one where you can use a lot of spaces and this little purple one in here you can do it shows you in some of the smaller uh, the other pictures you can, no you can't see them um you can use the smaller ones so if you're going to be going around smaller corners so for a dollar i haven't even opened it to check it out yet i think it's taped because if it's taped i don't have and i just did my nails so lovely lovely watch me open it and there's nothing in it Oh, it's even got a little tray. Ah, okay. I won't know how to put together until I read the instructions or do whatever. Oh, so here's here's the squishy part. Here's the little tray that it comes with. So it's got two sponges. And then it has this little one. I guess you cut the sponge. I have no idea what this is for. I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> look at the picture and you'll see. So what it is, it's the roller so that you can roll the paint um, like this. So when you get some paint on it, you can roll the excess off of it like this. What a nip for a buck. It was exactly a dollar, not even a dollar twenty-five. It was one dollar. I'm really pleased with that because I got a lot of painting to do. That was cool. Oh, that was a really nifty idea. They only had a couple of them left, so I don't know if they had like a big dollar dollar or store opening or whatever. So anyway, while I was there, I happened to I've been looking for these forever, um, and I got two. These are the chalkboard pens. So it's chalk chalk writer. Um, wet erasable, best dust free, great for chalkboards, drive erase boards, windows, glass, mirrors, everything really. And I never even thought of using them on all those things. But this one is white, and I got a pink one. I thought that was kind of cute. They also had a blue, and now that I'm thinking about it, I should have got all three. But that was cute, and these were a dollar. There's only if the prices um, are on them are a little bit different. Um, where's the other thing? Oh, and, um, they did have some of these, but really, really small ones at my, at my, uh, Dollarama over here. They're Ziploc bags. Now, that's the smaller size. They're about the size of the bag that this is in. It's 4 by 4.75 inches. Um, and I'm always looking for these smaller ones. Uh, sometimes I'll use the little snack ones, um, that you can get the Ziploc snack size ones that you can put little snacks in for your kids lunches but I wanted the square ones because these ones um, hold a little bit more than the little um, snack ones so there's 50 in here 
I got these for a dollar. So I was really pleased because there's a lot of little pieces of, um, for instance, if I want to pack away some cotton balls into um, traveling or if I have little pieces like hairpins or if I want to put some Q-tips in one or, I mean, there's so many uses for them. And I prefer these to putting them in all little boxes or little bottles like these these ones I was telling you about the other day um, that my daughter-in-law had uh, from pill boxes and I'm using it to for my nail um, what do you call the darn stuff? Glue. Ah, and I'm just going to put a little label on it, nail glue. Um, it just to keep it handy and, and put it away. So I was really pleased to get that. Like I say, I'd seen some, but they were all um, they were all smaller than that, and I wanted I wanted a little bit bigger. Um, these I picked up for my son. Sorry, the side of the just disposable face mask. I had got him one, but when I used it when we were cleaning at one um, years ago when we were cleaning at somebody's house, I used one. I found it hard to breathe in, and so I got him basically the hospital type. And there's four in a package for a dollar. So he'll get those because I don't know if the other ones work. I'll have to talk to him and find out. And then I'll pull these out. Not so much print length. There we go. So I picked up Canada Days coming up. And of course they had a big display of all kinds of stuff. These are all kinds of stickers. These are, you know, the Canada flags. And each one of these are the provinces. For American friends that don't know each of our provinces, I'm in Ontario, so this is our our flag here. Isn't that funny? I didn't realize that before. That the uh, I wonder if that's right. I'm gonna have to check that out. I didn't realize that Ontario, Manitoba, were similar. Ontario has three flowers in it, uh, made three maple leaves, and the one for Manitoba has a buffalo, which you know. They usually have those on their license plates. But that's all our province flags, and then there's just all kinds of Canada cute stickers and stuff like that. And I have a couple of American friends that I want to send a few treats to. So that is that. And then I picked up these pencils that have Canada with our flag on it. I thought that was kind of cute, too. So these are just little gift things I'm going to put away. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I thought I had picked up the other one. I guess I didn't. I thought these were so cute. These are all bows. They're little stickers for bows. Creative and fun. And look at all the cute little bows that they have. I thought that would be cute to put on a friend mail. Snail mail. <laughs> so that's what I got. And this last sticker, this is the last thing that I picked up. Um, I love these sort of antiquing type of stickers and this one was cute you know take a break and got the little birds and love and then just room on there i just i love these and there was a couple of them but i thought i picked up the both of them but i guess i didn't so there was another one with some other things on it so that was my quick haul for today i really don't have much else thanks for joining me uh let me know if there's anything that you see that you can't get you can always let me know um i don't mind picking something up and sending it off to my friends. Um, I guess that's it. So thanks for joining me for this very mini, mini haul. And uh, we'll see you again next time. And if you like these types of videos, please subscribe or at least uh, like it. Leave me a comment at the bottom. I really would like to hear from different uh, friends and current friends. I have some really nice friends out there that have been super nice to me, and I appreciate it uh, for being new on YouTube. Anyway, so that's my haul. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again next time. Um, bye for now.